Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And we are two days away from launching Dimono's fantastic new um, Solver in Sudoku Land hunt on Patreon. Do join us there. I think there's about six puzzles to be solved in the hunt. Um, all nine by nine Sudokus, which makes a change from last month's Nexpedition six by six. Um, and just loads going on as always. We've got all our apps out. Line Sudoku is one of those. Um, we've got merchandise. We've got Sven Sudoku pad. It's all on the links under the video. The first link is to this puzzle. And if I say that normal Sudoku rules do not apply, I am not understating the case this time. Normal Sudoku rules do not apply at all. What we're going to be doing in this puzzle is placing the digits one to five twice in each row, column, and box, except for one digit, which is the black sheep. It is only placed once in every row, column, and box. So every row, column, and box will have the digits one to five twice each, apart from the black sheep, which only appears once and is obviously one of those five digits. The black sheep is only placed once in every row, column, and box, so there's only nine of those in the puzzle. Digits in a cage sum to the clue given in the top left corner. Digits may repeat once in a cage. I mean, these rules are mad. Now, what's going on with the grey lines? Adjacent digits on a grey Austrian whisper line must have a difference of at least three slightly different from the German whisper. And on a blue region sum line, digits have an equal sum within each box, i.e. region, that the line passes through. So those two will add up to the same as that. Different lines may have different region sums. So this is going to play with the whole ethos of Sudoku. Eliminations are just not as possible in this puzzle as they are normally. And I think that's why the author has created it, to mess with our heads. Uh, this is by Leonard Kurl-Lerting, and my apologies for the pronunciation there. Um, I'm not good at the Germanic languages, um, and Kurl means black, I think. I don't know what Lerting means. Um, and Leonard is, of course, uh, the first name of the famous mathematician Euler, so great pedigree in that name. Anyway... We will have a look at this in a moment. No, we will have a look at it now, because I've done all the introductions. This is, this is where we're going. So welcome to Leonard for a debut to the channel. I'll say that. Um, and give it a try on the link under the video. I am going to start now. Oh, turn off all your conflict checkers before you start. I don't know if the solution's input or what. Um, I hope this isn't another puzzle where we have to check the solution carefully and then just announce it's right. Like. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? I'm not even sure. Anyway, let's get cracking. How? How the heck do you get cracking? I don't think the equal sum lines are any... Well, hang on. Right, let's look at these two. Because both of those digits are equal to the sum of three digits that appear in a box. Now... Let's start with this presumption that the maximum number of appearances of a digit within a box is two. So these two have got to be at least one, one, sorry, these three digits have got to be at least one, one, two, adding up to a minimum of four. So that is a four or five. The same is true of these three. So that is four or five. Now, it is vital that we don't think that makes these a four or five pair, because it absolutely might not. They could both be the same, is the point. Now, we've got six digits. So, these six digits could be, at a minimum, I reckon, two ones, two twos, and two threes. That adds up to 12. This is at a maximum five, so the minimum for this pair is seven. And that is not that informative, unfortunately. They, could, they can't contain a one, but 
that's all I've got there. And I don't know how pencil marking is going to work in this puzzle. Like I've put that as a four or five pair, but I've stressed already they could both be the same, which is really weird. But they are the only candidates for these cells. At least I know that. Oh, okay, okay. This German, uh, sorry, this Austrian whisper rule. This is significant, isn't it? Right. I was thinking that a difference of three is not that much. But in a one to five puzzle, it is quite significant. Right. We've got different rules. Normally, I sit here and tell you that five can't appear on a German whisper line, that the digits alternate between high and low, and there are monogamous digits. I think these things are all true only for different numbers. So... On a German whisper line, uh, on an Austrian whisper line, I must say that right, I'm going to allege that three cannot appear because it could never be sitting next to a digit that would satisfy the rule. It certainly can't sit next to itself. And therefore, we can have an alternation rule. We must have a digit higher than three, then a digit lower than three, then a digit higher than three, then a digit lower than three. And that means that two high digits are on this line. And they are going to include the other two from four or five that are allowed in box five. And that, I don't know how to mark it. Let's, let's do some random coloring of purple and green for highs and lows. But those are obviously the same color for, in terms of highs and lows. So whether it's green or blue, all the highs are going to be used in the, in the box and therefore in the puzzle. Therefore, four and five are not the black sheep digits. Well, that's weird. I mean, everything about this puzzle is going to be weird. Let's just try and get used to that. Now. Ah, right. Let's think about what these can be. And this, yes, okay. I, that was in some ways much more obvious than thinking about those six digits, but I didn't manage it. I'm doing it now. These six digits, now look, those could add up to eight, nine, or ten. Eight if they were a double four, ten if they were a double five, nine if they were one of each. But that means that these have to add up to eight, nine, or ten. Now, what is the minimum value for these five digits? They're in the same row, so two ones two twos and a three and that adds up to nine and we're saying the maximum for these is ten and we've still got that to add so I think that's it we can use the minimum for those the minimum for that and the maximum for these that must be right I'm gonna check the maths again because I don't want to make an error at this stage early stage two ones two twos and a three yes okay this is we're in business I don't know how to pencil mark it. Those are two ones, two twos, and a three. They add up to nine. That is a one. And these have to add up to ten. So they are both fives. So the high digits on this thing are both fours. And the low digits touching the fours must be ones. So already, well, the, the vital thing about this having two ones and two twos in it is they're not the black sheep. So we now know the identity of the black sheep. It is three. That's only taken me five minutes to establish. I'm quite pleased about that. Um, the black sheep is three. So these include two ones, two twos, and a three. So this digit is a four. Because the two ones have been used in row six. Lots of this puzzle is going to be determining where two of a digit have been used. So this is using two ones, two twos, and a three. We know there are two fours in every row, column, or box because there are two in box five, so that's a four. Wow. Right, now what about... Well, these are made up of two twos and one three. What about this? And this again. Let's think about those now. Because now these add up to five. Right, they could be one, one, three. But then these, their minimum value would be two, two, four, because we can't have another three. So eight would be the minimum value in that case. And actually, I don't think these can be two, two, four, because these can only include one, three. 
and therefore they must have a, a minimum of one two this is so weird but it's true they must have a minimum of one two so if this was one one three we can only use one two here and a four and a five at an absolute minimum and that adds up to eleven have I got that right? 11 is impossible here, because although that could be a pair of fives, 10 is the max. Right, if this was 1, 1, 3, that's used the two ones in the box. This could use 1, 2 based on this pair, but not both. It could use no threes if that was 1, 1, 3. It could use 1, 4, and it would have to use a 5, and it's impossible. So this is not 1, 1, 3. To make this add up to 5, this actually has to be 1 and a pair of 2s. Now there are no 2s here. This set is 2 1s and a 3, and that makes 5 for this side. Now, well, how can we do this successfully now? We can have a 1 in it. That's the key. We can't have any 2s in it because of the box. But now it can be as little as 1, 3, 4. And this only has to add up to 8. I mean, we had it at 7 before. I suppose we know it's made up of 3s, 4s, and 5s. There must be a 1 in this row, because those two 1s prevent any more 1s appearing here. But there are no 2s. This puzzle is so strange. Right, I probably need to get out of these middle rows a bit more than this. What can I do? What do you see? I haven't used any of the killer cages at all. They just don't look as appealing as everywhere else. Ah, the two ones are used here. So the two low digits on this four cell Austrian whisper line are both twos. Twos can only sit next to fives. So that is a pair of twos and a pair of fives. There's a pair of ones and a three there. These are both fours. That's, this is mental. So now there is a four in this row along with a one. In fact, that is a two five pair because these must alternate. In fact, I can now color those as orange for high and these as blue for low. Sorry. And these are one of each. And I don't know which they are, but they must alternate. So there's one of each in each column and one of each in each row. So that is a two five pair. Now, these can't be both twos and must include the three in the box. So that's a definite two. And now in this row, we've got two twos used, a five, two fours and two ones. This is a three and a five. These are a known set of one four, five. They add up to ten. Bingo. These must be a pair of fives now. So these can't be fives. That's a three. That's a five. Oh, but there is a five. Okay, I can't do any more in these rows. I'm going to have to get out of the boxes. Now look, look at this Austrian whisper line. Again, there's two highs and two lows on it, and they can't be fives. So the two highs are both fours, and the two lows are both ones, because only one can sit next to four. four. Four and two are monogamous digits in this puzzle. So these three cells are again twos and threes. This pair can't both be twos, because of that. That would be three twos in the column. So one of them is a three. There is only one three in each place so that's a two and that's on a blinking region sum line which now has to have a pair of ones on it this puzzle is crazy crazy like jay-z gosh now one of those can be a four well Hang on, this can't be a four, because that would have to be a one, and it's seeing far too many ones. So that's a one, that's a four, that's a one, that's a four. 
I mean, I'm going to mark those as low, not because I really care about that, but I do care about row 2, column 6 being high, although I don't know whether it's 4 or 5. It's one of them. Now, what about this set then, or is it this set? Ah, oh, now I know that this one three, I can I can let you in on a new secret. The value of every row, column, and box in this puzzle is always absolutely the same. It's made up of the total of two ones, two twos, two fours, two fives, and a single three. And it is therefore twenty-seven. So the value of this row is twenty-seven. I thought that was going to help me, but I don't know that it is. I'm still going to remember this valuable fact about this new type of puzzle. Ah, this column has got three of the high digits in it already, and we've got to have a fourth one here. And we, oh, sorry, we've got to have a low digit in these, and it's not one. So it is two. That goes with a five, always. That's using the two fives in the column, and this is a four. So this line was entirely made up of fours and ones. Now, in the rest of this column, we need one, two, and one, three. We can, this can see two fours in the column, so that's a one. Um, and they're not. They're a four, five pair, but I don't think I know the order. Ah, I can add up this box, because I know that's a two, five pair. Seven plus 12 in that cage is 19. These two have to add up to 8 to make 27, assuming I've got that right. And that can't be a 2, or this would have to be a 6. And 6 is not allowed as a digit in this puzzle. Oh, this is brilliant. I love this. This is so weird and clever. Now, we've got two ones in column 5 already, so these include two ones. Ah, and this can't have any ones on it. Is that interesting? No, maybe not. This can't have any ones on it either. So since we're trying to match up three cells against three, that feels sort of unimportant. Oh, we know what these are. We've used up two fives, two fours, and a three in the column. So that's two ones and a two. So this is low. OK, we can work that along the line because the digits have to alternate. Uh, these are high. I can put five in here. It doesn't mean I can put four in here, but it does mean I can put two in there. This is four or five. This is one or two. Now I can put this in because we've got two twos in the column. And now in this column, three is going to have to be here. We can treat three for once like a normal Sudoku digit. Uh, and we've got one four and one five placed, so that is the opposite of that. Goodness knows, I hope I don't have to do colouring on individuals like that. Now, that is all of the ones and twos. And we've used up the three, so this is a four five pair as well. Well, no, I don't know if that's a pair. Well, I mean, it could, I don't know, but they're selected from four and five. Oh, this nine cage. It can't have many ones in it now. Um, the minimum for those two cells is one and two because we've had one one used in the row. So the maximum for these is six. That's actually quite interesting. What What is the value... I don't know quite. Um, is it interesting? I'm not sure now. No, maybe not yet. Uh, right, this can't use two ones. It can't use two twos, but it could use one two. So the minimum value of this is nine. The maximum is a single five and two fours, isn't it? No, a single four, because we've got a four in the box. So somewhere between nine and 12. So the value for this 
equal sum is somewhere between 9 and 12. And the minimum for that is 6. So this is 3, 4 or 5. Yeah, I don't know that I can go beyond that in this region yet. And there's all these lines that I haven't used. This can't be a 5 anymore because the two 5s have been used in the box. So it's 1, 2 or 4. But then, well, okay, that means this can't be a 2. And it also can't be a 4 because of that pair. This can't be a 2 because it just couldn't maintain the difference to there. So this can't be 3, 4 or 2. So it is an extreme digit, 1 or 5. That's probably not at all helpful, but it's a surprising conclusion. Double one here. So these are from... Oh, this is a 2-4 pair. We can only use, we can't use ones because we've used them up for the columns in these cells. We can't use fives because we've used them up for the box and the same is true of threes. We can only use twos and fours and we can't have a pair of either because of that four in the column and that two in the box. So that is a two, four pair. This is now not a two. So one of these is a one. That doesn't do anything in this puzzle. But this set is all ones and fours. There's two ones and a four in this group. Two ones and a four and five two there. It doesn't really narrow these down. That's so frustrating. Oh, I was on the verge of saying if that was a four, that's a one. And this gets broken, but no, that could be a four and that could be a two. This puzzle really does web. Oh, where's three in the bottom row? Three can't be on the gray line, so it's there. Now, this isn't a three, so it's a one. Three, the black sheep, so-called black sheep, is actually the most helpful digit in the puzzle because you can actually do elimination using the three. Now, what, what does that lead to? This is a pair. So, we've got one high and one low here. We've got two highs and two lows over this side. This must be one high and one low. That doesn't help me resolve it. One of them is a four. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Oh, I don't know. Now, what about this digit then? Nothing about this digit mark. You don't know anything about it. This 12 cage? There's a maximum of one high digit in it. Um, oh, but that doesn't stop this even being a 5-3 pair, because then that could be a 2-2 two, two pair. Ah, it's frustrating. Right, let's look up this column again. Ah. This only has two possible totals, and they're one apart. Right, the total for this column is 27, remember, as it is for all the columns. We can take out six there, two ones and a four, 11, 13, and either two or three there gets us to 15 or 16. So this adds up to 11 or 12. So this adds up to 11 or 12. Plus 5, 7, 8, 9 takes the total of the row so far to 20 or 21. And these two add up to 7 or 6. Right, this has to be high. It has to be 4 or 5. Because the minimum digit to get those two to add up to 6 would be a 3. And that would involve two 3s in the row, which isn't allowed. So that is 4 or 5. These are 11 or 12. We can't use a 1. If it's 11, it could be 2. Oh, we could use a double? No. Can't use a double. 
oh, we could use a double five, two double five. No, we couldn't. We couldn't use a double five because of that. We can't use any ones because of that. We can't use a double four. There's no such thing as a double three, and we can't use a double two. So these are all different and add up to 11 or 12. Oh, of course, they're everything remaining. There are four, five, and either two or three, depending on what that isn't. There are either two, four, five, or three, four, five. So there is a five in one of these two cells. That's probably been obvious for a while. Now, these, if they added up to 12, 17, 19, 20, 21, these would be four and two to make the 27 total. And these would be three, four, five. That would work. But if they add up to 11, then these add up to 16, 18, 20, to 7. Then they're 4 and 3. What did I say? They were 4 and 2. Oh, no. Yeah. I think this always has to be a 4. That's really weird. Is that right? Oh, gosh, I'm going to have to work it out again. Right, this adds up to 11 or 12. 16 or 17, 19, 20, 21 or 22. What? Now I've got a different total. 11, 6, no, 20 or 21. These add up to 7 or 6. So they're either 4, 2. No, they could be 5, 2. This could be 344. Four. Actually, this can't be 344 four, because that digit can't be any of those because of this 443. So this isn't 344. Four. If it adds up to 11, it's 245. If it adds up to 12, it's 345. And this has to be a 4. OK, that is right. That took ages to check and work out, but it is true. Now, one of these is a 5, just as one of those is. And there's a 2 in one of the columns and a 3 in the other. Now, what's going on in this row now? Oh, well, it's all about... OK, that digit is going to be the same as that to make the total of column... Four, the same as the total of row three. That's weird. Um, right, these add up to 11 or 12. Oh, but this was a minimum of three. That's a maximum of six. Well, that's it. That must add up to six, and that must be a five. You can't get this to 12. Oh, I'd forgotten that calculation. Five there. These add up to six, and we can't use a five now. That's a two, four pair. Oh, we're away now. This, this is going to finish it. That is now a 1-2 pair. We now need a 3, 4, and 5 in this column. I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I know where the 4 goes, not in box 2 with the two other 4s. So a 4 there. This is now a 3-5 pair. I don't know which one is 3, but I do know that these add up to 11. So now I know that's not 3. That's two to make them add up to 11. And this is the last digit in its box. I'm going to call it five. I think I was going to say all my threes are placed. They're not yet. Got a couple left to go. This set can't be have two or four in it. It's one, three, five. That one can't be the three. This can't be a four because of the pair of fours looking at it. This isn't resolved, nor is this. Right, but we've got two fives in use in this column. That's not a five. We've got one there and one there. So the high digit on this pair is a four, which goes with a one. And that must do something. Yeah, it does. This is... There's a one in one of those, so this can't be a pair of ones, so that's a one, three pair. Basically, we need a second two in the column. Now, let's just be careful in this box. We are allowed, in this cage, we are allowed to repeat a two once. And it didn't say we couldn't do it in the same 
row or box. So I don't really know what to do with that cage yet. Let's keep going here. Um, oh, I don't know. It's going to be this cage, isn't it? Is it? I, it's so head-wrecking, this puzzle. I don't know what's going on now. Right, if that's a four, that's a one by the, by the whisper rule. But otherwise, this is a one. So that's going to use the two ones up in the row either way around. And we can fill in the other digits that could have had one in. And two on the whisper needs a five. That four makes both of these above it ones. Um, this cannot be a two because they're both too close to that and we need a second two in the row. So this is a one four pair and that doesn't actually resolve which way round these are working. But this does because that four has to be next to a one on its whisper. Now we can't put two ones on there. We've got to put two fours and a one in the corner. Um, we need two fives in this box and they can't both be in that row because of that. So there's one there. And there is a five here and a five here. So I think both of these now have to be fours. That's a five. I mean, it just feels so weird to put two cells next to each other in a row and a box and then make them both the same digit. It's still retaining the weirdness feeling, this puzzle. That is a two and a five. Right, now I can do these as a four and a five. Got the last six columns all done. Surely now this box will tell me what's going on, this cage. Um, well, we can't have two fives, so we're going to go over the top. So we do have two twos and a five in the cage, and that is a three. And this is a pair, and that uses up all the fives in the column, and that's a two. And we now know that orange, uh, sorry, purple is orange, and green is, I've entirely got that wrong, purple is blue. Green is orange. I never coloured this one for its... Oh, that's not a grey line. I've done all the grey lines. Oh, no, not this one. I can't even remember which digit, which, which colour is high and which is low. Anyway, we're there now. That is a 2-5 pair. That's two twos in the column, so this is a 1. This is not a 3. 3 is in the corner, proving its position two ones. This is not a three. This is a one. These are fives on the whisper rule. This is a two. Two, four, seven, twelve. That works. This is a five and that, will it say we're correct? It does. Good. Thank you, Leonard, for inputting the solution because that's a huge relief, actually. That's a very clever puzzle. Great fun throughout. Really, oh, I didn't colour these properly, did I? Really entertaining stuff there. And so head-wrecking with that rule change. Brilliant. Thank you, as always, for watching us on the channel. We love having you with us of an evening. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.